Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to review an inventory item record in NetSuite and point out key information and functionality that will greatly benefit your business. The focus today will be on the inventory item, but many of the features I'll be showing are also relevant for other item types, such as service items, non-inventory items, or assembly items. We're currently viewing a demonstration item in NetSuite, but for this demo, I'm going to go into an edit mode to make it a little bit easier. First off, NetSuite provides the ability to transact in different units of measure when you buy, stock, and sell your inventory. In this example, the vendor for this item sells in cases, yet we want the flexibility to sell in either cases or each, which will be able, and we will have that flexibility. Next, it's important to have flexibility in the way that you cost your inventory items. Some items may lend themselves to first-in, first-out costing, while others uh, may use average, for example. NetSuite provides many costing options, such as average, FIFO, LIFO, standard, as well as lot and serial number specific costing. Next, NetSuite also supports landed cost calculations upon receipt of goods that incur inbound fees, such as freight, duty, broker fees, loading and unloading of containers, etc. This capitalizes these expenses into the inventory value of the item and yields a more accurate cost of goods sold upon selling the item, which in turn yields more accurate profitability at the item level. Some distributors offer specialized or expensive products and don't want to incur the carrying cost of keeping these items in their own physical inventory. For these items, NetSuite allows you to designate them as either a drop ship or a special order item. When one of these are selected, NetSuite auto generates a PO to the preferred vendor when this item is added to a sales order. The destination of the PO will be set to the customer shipping address for dropship orders or items and to the company's warehouse for special order items, where they can quickly then be shipped to the customer. Next, we'll take a look at some inventory management methods that are offered within the item, item record. On a per item basis, NetSuite provides the option of managing the timing and quantity of replenishment POs using either a reorder point method or with a time phased demand plan, which in turn generates a supply plan for planned future POs. With the reorder point method, factors like the item's lead time, reorder point, and preferred stock level can be auto calculated using a historical daily usage value or there's the option to manually set these values. If you choose to use the time phase demand planning method for an item, planning algorithms like linear regression, moving average, sales forecast, and seasonal average can be leveraged to create the future demand values, which will then use the lead time to plan future POs to satisfy the calculated demand. Demand plan values can also be imported or manually entered or overridden. Next, let's take a look at some pricing options that are offered on the item record. Distributors often sell their products to many different types of customers and through many different selling channels. So they need a flexible yet simple way to price their items accurately on every quote or sales order. NetSuite offers the ability to assign items to pricing groups and then give certain customers special group pr item pricing. User-defined price levels can be created and optionally given a percent discount or uplift from list price. Quantity pricing tiers can be utilized when appropriate in order to incentivize customers to purchase more of a specific item or more items as a whole on the order. Lastly, NetSuite supports multi-currency. And sales pricing can either be set manually, as we see here for Australian dollars, or prices can be left blank and NetSuite will use the current designated exchange rate to determine the sales price, as will be the case when selling this item in Canadian dollars. Next, on the accounting side, NetSuite is a real-time accounting system, so all approved transactions impact the general ledger in real time. In order to ensure that the correct GL accounts are impacted, 
the item record supports the use of default account numbers for key accounts like cost of goods sold, income account, inventory asset, and so on. This creates a set it and forget it environment that accounting professionals love. Over time, items will be involved in many transactions such as POs, customer invoices, etc. The related transactions tab that we see here will allow users to get a complete history of the item and provides the ability to easily sort information or filter by different transaction types. It also allows for user-defined views to be leveraged in order to reveal different desired fields. Lastly, but certainly not least, NetSuite provides the ability to sell your products on an e-commerce website that's hosted by NetSuite and part of your overall cloud subscription. Rather than having a separate e-commerce solution that requires its own item master, you simply provide more content on the NetSuite native item record in order to sell online. As we see here with some item descriptions and, and item images to be utilized on the web store. As you can see, the configuration of item record information in NetSuite can drive major efficiency in your business, enable you to grow your item catalog and selling channels without the need for additional headcount. This concludes this short demo of the NetSuite item record. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for taking the time to learn more about NetSuite.